In this tutorial, we're going to go over a really easy way for you to grab all your formatting, like you can see here, and migrate it over to a different cell or group of cells. So let's get started. What we're going to use is this handy little paint format button here. So for example, if I wanted to take this cell's formatting, which is a bold that's adjusted to the left with a uh, maroon border, and change this G1 cell to the same, I just click it, hit the paint format button, and do the same. All right, let's hit Control G to undo. Uh, you can do the same thing with background colors or text colors. So let's do that again. Or we'll hit the paint format, and let's do the same cell again, and you can see it's been changed. Also with alignment, for example, where we've got a center alignment, left alignment, right alignment, or the way that the cell interacts with the text, so wrap or clipping or whatnot, or even the rotate can be done with this paint format method. So let's have a go at a couple of these. The first one, the alignment here, will take this and also the cell types. We'll go for C1, we'll hit paint format, and hit the text. And you can see that's been aligned to the center now. All right, so let's also have a look at this rotate one. So let's try it for the next one down. Uh, so let's go to rotate. So we'll hit paint format and click. All right, easy as that. Let's control Z and control Z to go back. Now you can do this with multiple cells at a time and it'll take both cells and drag them across. So let's have a look at this one. So we'll go uh, the entire three bold italic and strike through. So I'll copy that and I'll hold shift down and click to grab the range. And then I'll hit the paint format and click bang. You can see that the test bold and italics and strike through has been done. Now, if there are different fonts inside the same cell, it won't do it. It will only recognize different characters within the cell to be bold, italic, or strike through. But if the entire cell contains a bold or italic or strike through, it will paint format across for you. So let's undo that again. Now, let's say we wanted uh, bold, italic, and strike through to be done to all values. Well, we can click that again and we can hit this paint format and I can hold down G1, click and drag it across to the all three across to I and down to I3. And there you go, it's all been formatted. So we can also do the same if we run across the columns. So if I grab column A2 and to B2 and hit the paint format and then drag across G, H and I, it'll only do the first two. However, if I do the same here, Again, so click it and run across the four. So G, H, I, J, it'll format across. So just keep that in mind. All right, so it'll also take across these um, alternate uh, colors in alignment. You get them from going to format and down to alternate colors. So that'll come across. Or you can select the whole range and it'll appear here. So what I've got down below here is a replicate in just plain text format of what's up above that has uh, my fantastic color coordination in it. So for me to change that, all I need to do is gra grab this from A1 down to D7, and you'll see it change. Now, before I change it over, you'll note a couple of things here. Formatting will also include this 100%, uh, so 100% is basically one. So this is what one is, and you'll see this weird number set, and these number sets are based on how, how dates and times work inside Google Sheets. So this will read it and go, ah, it's a number, and it will give you a date. So let's have a look. Uh, paint format, click here. Now I don't have to drag the whole range, it's going to recognize it, so I just have to click A12, and behold, it's identical. Now, there are some things that paint format won't do. It won't format across heights of cells, nor will it format across widths of cells. So across like this, it won't include those because that could disrupt other parts of your spreadsheet. So it leaves those out and allows you to do them at a different stage. Okay, that's it for paint format. Um, let me know in the comments how you use it. Thanks.